Hello my fellow adventurers, this is Malucha and welcome back to New World. In the previous episode, we kind of went on a quest to go for the legendary uh, well, axe that is in the game once you reach, uh, I think it is when you reach level 10, but it might also be when you reach level 20. And uh, yeah, we saw that we actually had another quest here in... Well, in Weaver's Weaver's Fen, uh, that we uh, kind of didn't do yet, and yeah, we finished off Morningdale, and I really hate to see like open quests. We can't remove this one. We can't remove this one because they're repeatable quests. Same here with Dynasty Shipyard, but we can remove every other quest that is in the settlements and around it, and that means today in Weaver's Fen we are gonna undertake. Flameus Roth, acquire a Singe Branch from Amphus, a Wirewood, Ashes from Fornax, Unhallowed Water from Neptune's Fury, and the Heart of All Flames from New Balefire to craft the Fire Staff called Flameus Wrath. Then report back to Artificer Erasmus, uh, Erasmus in Weaver's Fen Sediment. And yeah, as you can see, I got a spear on my back because, uh, yeah, slowly but surely, uh, Void Gauntlet done, Life Staff done. Fire Staff done, Great Axe done, Rapier done. So, yeah. Next up, I decided to go for the Spear to level that one up. And I do have to say, the Fire Staff at start, the... Um, well, the... <coughs> holy crap, i am uh, got something in my throat. Uh, the Flamethrower is fun, but after firing to try and get it level 20 for like 3 or 4 hours, the constant interrupts that you get and actually, like having to press that button to to actually activate the flamethrower again it becomes annoying like i i always thought like okay i'll just go flamethrower and i'll just keep flamethrowing but yeah the interrupts uh, and and constantly have to activate it again then uh, it it it, it, tr it triggered something in me uh, that's the least i could say but yeah today let's grab this epic uh, flamethrower that we can get from the quests so, Class Erasmus. <laughs> I understand I'm not the only one who has benefited from your presence. You're kind of a hero around here, and I was wondering, would you have any interest in a fire staff? Well, I certainly would. Ah, perfect. I've been working on a schematic for some time. It's called Falmeas Ralph. If you can acquire all these necessary elements, this staff will make you a true master of the flame. Good luck. Well, thank you. And where are we starting off? So collect items used to craft the Falmeas Roth. Travel to Amphus in Eden Grove to collect Cinch branches. And that is where exactly on the map? And it seems we're gonna need to collect 14 branches and corrupted enemies so they should drop from everything and i do have to say the spear is well maybe not on the dock <laughs> it actually does a lot of damage does a lot a lot of damage i also did get a properly good ring for it with some uh, extra trust damage that i still had somewhere in my vault but it is a master of the interrupts like a stun here an interrupt there Ah, I couldn't kill him before he died. That's bad. And we could have swept him before we actually could. Yeah, there's a lot of CC in, in this weapon. Like, uh, really a lot of... Some awesome moves that you can actually do with it. And it is level 7 or something. Ah, almost. I should actually leave the CC for when they're about to drink. Maybe I can just stop it. Let's see if that works. High pass mercenary. Are you gonna are you aren't you gonna drink yet? Yeah, it is really fun to play with it. And because of the CCs, you actually don't really take a lot of damage, I noticed. Let's sweep him, stab him. Is he gonna drink already? And interrupt it before he actually can. So I'm not really sure. For now, it, it really looks like a fun weapon to play with. I definitely want to wanna level that one up. Uh, before I can actually tell what it's worth. 
Like I've uh, with the with the flamethrower, I did go into like full heavy gear and then just went into an OPR and see how I could actually do. And it, I did get some kills, but I don't know. I've seen players with it that just do way way massive amount of damage. And I think it's because of the skills, uh, but me in my regular just heavy loadout with some uh, constitution and then 300 intellect, I didn't find myself doing like the damage that other players were doing with, not, and at least not the survivability that I expected. Oh, you, you can't interrupt an animation that they're doing? Like you saw the kick he was doing, right? I kind of wanted to in, in, interrupt that one, but it didn't work. It's kind of strange. So the fire staff, yeah, it is just another weapon that I leveled up and, and I kind of want to level them all up because, yeah, we are getting a new gun in the game. Uh, uh, a handgun, I think it's called. I don't think I don't think it's called a handgun. I, I, I know it's a handgun or um, a pistol. I'm not really sure. One of the two. Uh, and I kind of want to have my weapons leveled up before it enters the game. But as you can see, like, if I would do this with my flame tor a torch, I would have already had to use my life staff to actually heal up. But because of the CCs with this weapon, it wasn't a there isn't actually a lot of reason to heal up. That makes it really, really interesting. And three more to go. Let's pick up this... Next. Oh, too late for the interrupt to actually interrupt him drinking. Damn it. Ah, so close. We did grab his potion, though. We did grab his potion. And the last kick wasn't necessary anymore, but yeah, why not, right? And one more. There is a solo. Yeah, there is a solo target here. Perfect. Mr. Butcher, you're gonna be my last victim, dude. Interrupt him and die. There we go. And that means done with this quest here at uh, this location in Amphis. And that means we need to travel to Fornax in Restless Shore to collect Rite of Wood, wood Ashes. It's 2.7 kilometers away. Seems we're gonna need to collect 15 pieces here. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Should I help this buddy out here? Let's give him a heal. Not sure if I can actually... No, he's in combat, so I can't heal him. There we go. Not sure if he got the kill for it, but... I think I'm gonna interrupt... Oh, there's multiple people here. Look at that. So yeah, I'm gonna stay around here for a while and collect up these 15 pieces of Rightwood Ashes. And last one. There we go. Perfect. And for the next location, we are gonna need to head to Neptune's Fury in Restless Shore to collect unhallowed water. And that is same area, but then only... We're gonna need to collect 16 pieces of unhallowed water here from drowned enemies and I'm gonna do a little testing because I've been doing like one versus one enemies right now. I kind of wonder if it actually has some AOE uh, capabilities. I guess that's what you kind of want to say. So let's pull up a bunch together. Let's get him here next to this dude. So for the sweep, it does work on multiple enemies. But yeah, I don't know. The stab. Yeah, yeah, it does work on multiple enemies at the same time. So it does have some AoE potential. Should be just enough to actually get the quest done. Did get it just to level 10 as well. It's really nice. Always an increase in level. Six pieces and I only dropped four, so it's not a hundred percent drop rate. These bastards. These bastards in here, I think. Oh yeah, let's pull six or seven. 
Let's just get this quest done with. Let's eat. So I actually do get a little bit of uh, HP return. You're gonna have to pay for what your friends didn't drop, dude. Can't help it. I didn't drop it either. Holy crap. Where are these last two? You guys. You're gonna give me what I need, right? No, don't. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Yeah, yeah, they did drop it. Nice. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Supply crate. God damn it. All right, and for the next part, travel to New Balefire in Morningdale to collect the Heart of All Flames. And I do presume that is going to be the last item that we're going to need. Let me jump down here. Perfect. Is that an uh, entrance down here as well so we had an entrance up top that went into the mountain and now we find an entrance down here as well and where is this oh, we should be here let's kill these creatures first come on come on thank you we only find a red-eyed hound here but not Maybe he is inside of this, like, underground, below the below where we are right now. See, this is supposed to be left here somewhere. Is he, is he on top here? Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like he's on top. I don't think... Can we, can we go down, or are we gonna drown? No, doesn't look like we can go down. So is there a downstairs to this place, or is this dude just not spawned in? <laughs> uh, I kind of knew it. I was like, we're looking for a specific mob. Um, of Heart of All Flames, the Spew Spitter. That's kind of a named mob. I was like, hmm... Where can we find a named mob? Here. Well, it's the one we beat up before already. Gold Aura, Spew Spitter. We are back and this time you are not gonna kill us. I'm gonna make sure of that. I'm just gonna keep interrupting you. Well, oh. And I'm missing game sounds. Is it just me or am I missing game sounds? Well, not for me. I can hear what I'm doing, but I can't hear her spells. There are some game sounds, but I, I was missing a couple game sounds, I think. Well, Heart of All Flames is apparently a chalice. And yeah, it does say, visit an arcana station. I create a Felmia's Wrath. Should be high enough now. Yeah, tier 5. Look at that. Felmius Wrath. So what do we get? Intellect and Focus as attributes. Siphoning, Incinerate and Keenly Fortified. Let's craft this puppy up. On critical gain, 10% Fortify for three, 3 seconds and restore mana per hit with Incinerate. It's actually not bad of a stats for a 48, like a starter one. Like... For instance, you go to level 30, maybe 40-ish, and get your weapon at level 20, uh, something like that. It should be semi-possible, I think. I'm not really sure what level I was when I got my life staff at level level 20. Uh, but it should be possible if you just focus on one weapon only, because that was one of the mistakes I did at the start of the game. It was actually, like, do two weapons at the same time, but that way you split up your weapon XP. And that's actually not that good. You want to specifically focus on one weapon each. That way it's faster to get that one weapon to level 20. Um, it's, uh, yeah, like I said, one of the mistakes I made. Uh, but, yeah, I think if by level 40 you can actually get this, uh, this fire staff, then actually not too bad at all let's quickly take a look how it actually looks oh it has a tiny flame on it oh that's kind of cute the flame of all flames is basically no bigger than a match <laughs> ah that's actually funny 
That's actually really funny. And yeah, we do need to go back to Klaus Erasmus and go talk to him that we completed this staff for him. Uh, do you need a light for a cigarette or something? Because I got the perfect, perfect uh, fire staff for it right now. Ha! Behold, your diligence has paid off. You must have had to trek all over Eternum. It wasn't actually, from all the quests we've done so far, it isn't actually all that bad. Like, we had quests where we actually do had to go over all of Eternum. Uh, but for this, uh, especially like the armor quests, those are definitely like pulling you all over the place. But the weapon quests are actually pretty good. But now you enjoy the benefits of Felmia's Wrath, a finer staff has never been crafted. Wielded with pride, Maluncia. And I will most likely trash it. <laughs> Let's complete the quest. And some Weaver's Fan standing. Always nice. Let's see what we can get. And yeah, gathering speed, of course. There we go. And yeah, from the looks of it, I don't know. The, 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 <laughs> the flame is just way too little. It would have been nice if it if it glowed a little bit, like the staff itself. It had some shiny purposes, but the, the fire on the top of it is just—it's just sad. You, you you basically you're gonna you're gonna like hold it and then like uh, I don't hope the wind blows too hard because <laughs> the flame is just gonna get extinguished. But that's where I'm gonna wrap up this episode, guys. Uh, we've got the epic fire quest, uh, the epic fire staff quest done. And yeah, in the next episode, um, maybe if I work really, really hard, uh, I can get maybe my spear at level 20. If not, then we most likely will go look at Ebon Scale Reach for the side quests there. Uh, like I said at the start of the video, uh, we did the Life Staff quest, we did the Fire Staff quest, we did the Great Axe uh, quest. We haven't done or found a Rapier quest yet. We haven't found the Void Gauntlet quest yet. So those are either both still quests that are most likely or found in Reekwater or found in Evanscale. Uh, or yeah, they may be actually on top here. We've got uh, four quests in Valorholt. we got two quests in Eastburn here. And we've got one quest in Mountain Home. But like I said, I'm going to end the episode here, guys. If you want to see more of my quest progression or my Let's Play here in New World, just hit that subscribe button. It would always help out a lot. I do hope you enjoyed this episode. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.